Today I have with me the Safe Zone 3 Area Scanner. This is a SIP safety version, but as you see, this is the way it comes out of the box. The way it comes, there is no place for me to plug in my 24 volts and my Ethernet. But I do have two options. I can either go in the back or I can go in the bottom. My application today, because my Safe Zone Scanner usually sits on my desk, I'll install it in the back. One thing I want you to note is as we're setting up our scanner or, you know, just mounting it, treat the top as an optical lens, not as a handle, not as a hockey puck. It, it is an optical lens. We want to keep it clean and we want to treat it as a sensitive device. I'm going to take my T20 or T20 device or screwdriver here and I will take that off and I will take the other screw off. So again, just choosing what, what's going to be the best my mounting capability. Then it takes a little bit of pride, but we can get the cover off nice and quiet. Is that that device? Sometimes it's a little hard to get off, so be careful with your paint. I want to leave as much on as possible. And now I take the system plug. The system plug is where my 24 volts and my Ethernet is going to plug in. So I align it properly. I work it into position and slowly just tighten. Do a little finger tight. And then we will take our T20 Torx one more time and snug that up. It is a gasketed seal, so don't worry about getting it too torqued up. You know, we don't have to smash the seal, we just want it to seal. Now I have my system plug in place. Depending on where you put your system plug will determine what kind of mounting you want to do. So with our brackets, there are different choices depending, giving you a little more room, right? Because we're going to have some bend radius uh, for our cords, which we'll see in a minute. So just choose your mounting bracket properly. So we'll take off a Ethernet plug cover and the 24 volts. And here I have a four pin Ethernet plug with an M12 connection. We'll screw that into place. And snug, don't get crazy, don't need the vice grips. And then bring in my five pin 24 volts. And that's just putting brown 24 volts and blue to common. And we screw that in and you'll see the device start to boot. Really, my device is now wired. Uh, noting on the front, it's going to boot up. It says no configuration because it is in the out of box state. I know it doesn't show up on the camera, but trust me, it says no configuration. Note that there is a USB port. This is not used on the Rockwell product due to security concerns, so that port has been disabled. So all of our configuration that we're going to do in the future will be done over Ethernet. We, we can use boot P or we can use a DHCP server to give this device an IP address. Um, we do have some limited scrolling and capability that you can see through the different menus, um, but you can see what, what's available there in the user manual. So with that, we have our system plug in place. We have carefully installed and snugged up, and our Safe Zone 3 scanner is wired and ready to configure. So with that, that concludes out of the box the initial setup of the Safe Zone 3 area scanner.